Hey guys, we got an exciting video. Dad's been looking at this product, a roto grind, for a couple years now. He's been checking them out, thinking about getting one. Me telling, I don't know if we need one. Today we got the opportunity to use one. There's one coming out, and we're gonna be grinding our hay here shortly and see if it works for us. We're used to big hay grinder coming in over 600 horse and grinding like 40 bales an hour. And so we're not sure if we're going to even like it. The part that really sells it on us is that it can grind our corn for us, which we grind like 9,000 bushels in our pit here at home, and then like 7,000 at Jeff's pit at the North Farm. Just right there with the corn grinding, in six years we figure, six or seven, in that range we can pay for the, the grinder just with the corn, and then we can even do our, our hay as well. We'll explain more of that later. Right now we're sitting at a hay land that we rent and you can see maybe there's a semi out there. There's another one right there. It's getting loaded up. There's a line of bales here. Many of you have asked what we do with all this hay. It's kind of funny that we get asked that question. In most years, we keep all of it. We feed it all. It's our cattle that we calve out and then the feeders that we raise every year. Most years, we don't sell a lick of hay. But these last two years, we've been getting above average moisture, almost seven inches extra above average, which is like 30% more rain than we normally get. So we've been blessed with the problem of having too much hay. It's given us the opportunity to sell hay, and this is getting long-winded. But anyway, I'm going to throw the drone up. Thought this might be pretty cool. Just show you guys loading up the hay a little bit. And then we're going to head back home. That roto grind is going to be coming out, and we're going to be grinding hay, and we're going to check that out. All right guys, it's the next day. Decent weather, kinda, kinda foggy again. We're just starting feeding. That roto grind's on the way out. They'll be here in about 30 minutes. They'll start setting up. We'll probably talk about the machine a little bit, what it, what, what it can do, and then we'll see firsthand what it can do. So here we, here we go. I show up just in time. My chariot is awaiting for me full. It's like the best feeling when you run out of feed right at the end of the bunk. Fill it all the way. That's kind of the goal every morning. That way everyone can eat, everyone's got space. Are you like jumping with joy, really excited I'm today? Excited. I'm pretty excited about the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. I like your shirt. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yeah? I'm excited. He's excited. Like I mentioned earlier, he's been Looking at a product like this for a couple of years, he's definitely thinking about purchasing one. Today we'll answer some questions for him and he really just wants to see if it'll keep up and we just don't want to feel like we're waiting for paint to dry. Cleaning out the window, turning my scale, and I hawked a loogie at the PTO. And it, it hit there and rode on it and then about flew up and hit me back in the face. So, so that would have been a funnier story for you guys. So since we're going to be grinding hay, Dad's spreading out some bales. I think we're going to do about 14 bales today. We oftentimes say half and half, uh, half alfalfa, half grass hay. You got a knife in there? I can run up and grab one. Here you go. Oh. Okay. Right. So we're going to cut the net wrap off before we, before we grind them. Where to, where to start? That bale there. One done. I 
I hope our hay grinder doesn't see this. So if, if our hay grinder is watching, do you have any words you'd like to say to him? Yeah, yeah. It's not you, buddy. It's me. Four states in three days. <laughs> so I think for your sake. <laughs> <laughs> Can we switch around? We're kind of downwind to you right now. Yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfect. No. We're here with the guys from Rotor Grind. We're going to trial a 1090 grinder today, and this is Aaron Bauer. He's the area rep, Je Jesse. Jesse Burroughs from uh, his family is, I guess, the owners of Burroughs yeah. um, that created this this idea. Who do we have here? Oh, uh, well, my friend, road buddies here. Okay, yeah. just yeah. roading just, along. Just working these things. Yeah. Well, I guess the thing that excites me the most about your product is we can do three things that we need to do on our farm with one imp one implement, and we can grind our hay. We can grind our wet corn, and we can also bed with it when we're calving. We can shoot bedding out. So uh, to be able to do three things that are real important to us with one one product is exciting to try out, and I really appreciate you guys coming a few miles to let us take a look at this and, and see how it works on our farms. We'll get the tractor up here. Yeah, so they just got to throw the spout on. Didn't want to be driving a few hundred miles with that spout you know, hanging out in traffic. I'll go grab our tractor. We're gonna be using the 7215R today. We'll be ready to rock and roll. I tried cleaning her off yesterday, get her all fancy for today, and we couldn't get that darn pressure washer started. But I think we have a solution coming here. So we'll be looking forward to that. While they're hooking up the spout, we'll climb up here, see how it looks like in the inside. And so right there is your big hammer that spins in those blades kind of with the centripetal force I suppose flings them out and then they just smack the bale throw chunks down in there and shoot it out the spout last one yep. nice you know we should probably get the wettest one we can find and see how that'll go through there yeah, they've been rained on a few times so I think it'll be a pretty good test <laughs> So part of the whole thing of owning one of these, I'm kind of cocked. I want to straighten that PTO out a little bit more, but oh, like with our hay grinder, we have them come out once every three weeks about, and we grind a really big pile. Well, if you've got a wet season and it's raining on that, that stuff starts to heating and just the quality just disappearing just like that. So with one of these, you can, you have it all the time. So you can do smaller piles more often. So you have better quality feed. And also, like Dad was saying, we could grind our corn with it, which we do every year. And we have 14 bales set up. Net wrap already cut off them. I'm going to set a timer and see how long it takes us. I assume it's going to take almost an hour to grind, maybe even an hour 15, hour 20. But we'll see how that goes. The best part of this is this tractor has really good AC, and I'll probably spend a lot of time in here. All you got is a PTO and one set of hydraulics and that hydraulic turns the tub the whole time and there's a governor on there and so if you get something really hard really rough hard to grind it actually slows down your tub for you then you don't kill your tractor all right dad's grabbing a bale it's getting exciting and i got the drone sitting here we'll throw that up in a bit and get some aerial view You can tilt the spout up or down and you can rotate the spout. It's not hydraulic, but obviously save a lot of, on cost. And I wouldn't doubt that they have options that you can add that, add hydraulics to there. So you can just stay in here the whole time. Oh yeah. I was wondering why my drone wasn't taking off. We got a little net wrap in there. <laughs>
half done. I think we've been going about 30 minutes here. Piles looking nice. We've been going one hay, well, one grass, one alfalfa. And I'm gonna have to pull ahead here a little bit after dad throws this next bale in. Think about it, you know, you grind for 30 minutes and have enough feed for a week. That's about how it'd be for us. But, you know, that's not too bad. Yeah, so we're at about 38 minutes and we've done nine, we ran nine through. So a little math, I wasn't a math major, all right? Yeah, it's about four and a half minutes per bale. Not terrible. The best part is, Jerry stopped by and brought some donuts. So I'm pretty jacked about that. Dad snatched them up, put them in the tractor. So we're keeping them. Are you gonna do it? I'm the captain now. Okay. Chuck one in here quick, huh? Just a bunch of dudes hanging out, watching some machines work. Right on. Wrapping it up here, got a nice pile. That's the last bale there. A little bit of broken bale scattered around over there. Dad will have to pick that up. We're just under an hour yet, and we got one bale left. I got a little hay in my eye hole last time. It's really irritating. I think I just got it out. No, it's still there. Dang it. Just a little bit left down in the tub. Blunt her out, unhook her, and then these guys will probably head out. That ground hay. It fooled me. About went over my boot. <laughs> That's probably not funny to joke about. Yeah, thanks for coming out, guys. Yeah, yeah. it was definitely fun. Uh, check out some of your videos some more. Thank you. Yeah. See you later. Well, we're gonna get out of the way here. They're gonna hook up. So yeah, there was there was the Roto Grind demo. We got hay for a good another, I'd say, a week and a half. I'm gonna run in the house quick. There's still hay in my eye hole and it's really annoying. Where you been? Felt like I just waterboarded myself. I think I got it. Feeling pretty good now. All right, so they're leaving. It was nice hanging out with them. He's headed back to Wisconsin and then the other two are headed back to Colorado, I think. So they came quite a few miles. So here's the pile we made. That's 14 bales right there. Kind of conjoins into the old pile so we'll obviously feed the old stuff first i got an hour 12 an hour and 12 minutes to grind 14 bales and there's the pile and that's like i said that should last us at least a week and a half of course when we bring all our cattle home from pasture and or we're feeding them over the winter we go through hay a lot quicker but we also have a lot more free time in the winter months because we're not haying or doing really anything with crops so we'd have more time in that case to grind hay every once in a while. It took a little bit to get it set so it was at kind of max capacity. At first we were too aggressive when we sheared a bolt then he backed it off a little too safe and it went a little slow and then he found the sweet spot and it went through pretty good. Hmm. So it's kind of like the, I mean it's as advertised about 15 bales an hour it looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah so I, I had timed it and I cut out. We did shear a bolt. I haven't mentioned that yet. We sheared a bolt when it was too aggressive, so that was really early on. I stopped the timer, and then we didn't keep the the tub full. You know, we it wasn't always full. Well, we could have packed it in a little bit yeah. better. And so, yeah, 14 bales at an hour and 12, and I actually stopped the timer a little slow, like we had shut it off for a while. But um, yeah, I, I think we could have, like I said, packed it a little better and. It would have pushed it down on them hammers and it would have been running well, a little faster. He said to have the tub about two thirds empty when you put a bale in. And so I would, I think I did let it go okay. too empty a couple times because that thing has a tendency to need weight to keep pushing the mm -hmm. feed down. Mm -hmm. Not only does it grind hay, it would grind our corn too. And what was the other thing it could do for us? Oh yeah, spread bedding. our bedding. Do our bedding. And so, you know, dad and I are 
gonna talk a little bit about it. We definitely wanted a demo, just like with the hay hiker. You know, it's something that we're personally thinking about, you know, playing with the idea of maybe getting one on our farm. And so you, you really gotta, you really gotta try it out to know if you're gonna well, like it. And the other thing is all you guys that are watching, you know, it's a way for us to show how something would work. And then some of you guys are gonna say, boy, that'd really work great on our farm. Or maybe that's not quite what I'm looking for, but that's kind of our goal on these demos. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's fun. Yep. Was it everything you ever wanted? It was pretty sweet. Good. And what a good bunch of guys to work with. So we want to thank, well, it's Burroughs Manufacturing Roto -Grind, that builds Roto Grind for, I mean, they came a ways. Mm -hmm. And uh, then their rep from Wisconsin pulled Grinder down from Minnesota. And nicest guys, they, they did a great job of representing the company and uh, we like the product. Mm -hmm. Don't you say we should uh, get some lunch? <laughs> yeah. Jerry left donuts. Oh yeah, there's donuts. Where are the donuts? Andy ate them. Andy ate them all? No, there's two, there's two left. <sighs> Andy, <laughs> drinking our beer and eating our donuts, I tell you what. <laughs> all right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, maybe learned something. Uh, hey, yeah. One more thing. Yeah, what? Oh. So something that's real interesting to me is when you guys uh, the co-workers as a group watch our videos and if you want to comment below on your different businesses and the, the, the groups that watch as co-workers together I think that'd be neat okay yeah. Yeah. yeah so thanks for watching we'll see you next time have a good one <laughs>